Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning WooCommerce theme development tutorial. This is our partner 14. Inside this video session guys, we will see about how can we use post loop to render the dynamic content what we have inside our WordPress pages. If I back to admin panel and as we know that in the last video, we have created the dynamic content for all of these pages. Like if we click on this edit button of this about us page and inside this we have like about us here we have a header or we have a dynamic content. So the same settings we have repeated for all of these pages. But when we go here and this is our front end layout. Now if I open the same URL into a private window and here it is currently we are not logged in here by means of using admin credentials. So that's why we don't have like admin bar available here. We don't have admin bar at this private window. So when we click on, on any of the link writing it here or menu pages. So click on home, about, services and contact. So as we can see that only the URL is changing. No content is reloading what we have inside our WordPress setup or like the content what we have supplied from admin panel of these pages and it's because that these are the menus using index.php. Inside this tutorial right now only we have the index.php a template available inside this theme. We don't have any page.php page hyphen like page id page name.php file. So due to unavailability of other templates file, it is currently using index.php file. So in the next video, we will understand about the page templates hierarchical structure. So inside this, we are going to use a post loop. So right now inside this index.php means this is the template which is using by all of the menus items. So here inside this, we have all static content. So what I will do, if we go here and if we back to browser, as we can see here, that is we have our dummy content, go inside this and what I will do, if we collapse this blog post, blog post, blog post, this is pagination, left hand sidebar sorry right hand sidebar so i'm not going to do anything with this sidebar only removing some dummy content from this and right now only we have a single blog post div so if we save this change reload this page so right now inside this page we have only a div area now we are going to make that div as the dynamic how it can be do back to editor now get rid of these contents from here save this change back to browser and here we have a post image post title as well as a dummy content and here we have the link called read more back here now here inside this what i'm going to do we're going to use the dynamic content the dynamic content can be rendered by using a post loop so first of all, we need to check that any dynamic content is available for this page. What I mean, it means that when we suppose click on about us page. So first of all, we need to check that inside this about page, we have some dynamic content or not. So for that, let's say that if have post, this is a WordPress function. And by the help of this WordPress function, we are going to check our dynamic content opening this bracket inside this let's a while and by using this while loop we are going to iterate over the content so let's say have post and inside this while loop let's say that the post this is a WordPress function which is used to implement our loop and now inside this and to use PHP close tag PHP open tag so that we can use the HTML content inside these. So what I will do, I'm going to cut all these things from here. 
if we go to this div, copy all the content and get back to those PHP tags, putting it here and I am pressing Ctrl Shift I to format our HTML code, save these changes, press Ctrl B to hide this sidebar. Now inside this file loop, now we are going to do some changes over this HTML. So right now we are going to use this same image. This is a placehold.it and by the help of this we are getting a dummy image as we can see here. So we are going to use the dummy image for now. So here we have the post title. So what I will do inside this PHP tag simply call the WordPress function called the title. Save these changes and inside this card text what I will do go here inside this and let's say PHP inside this card content let's say that the content this is another WordPress function the title brings the page title of that page and the content brings the post content now if we save this change go here reload this page and before reloading it is about us page so if I reload and here we have the title called about and this is the content what we have written inside this page now if I click on this services we have the dynamic content click on contact we have the dynamic content if we click on home and this is the dynamic content now if we go at the root remove this index.php and home from this URL and here we have the hello world it is means the all the post what we have inside our database if you go to admin panel go to posts and inside this post section we can see that currently we have a single post click on add new and if I type let's say other posts click on this dummy text chrome extension copy all the contents putting it here and publish this post now if I back to browser this is our home URL means front-end page which is displaying all the posts what we have inside our database so right now we were about hello world if I reload now this time we have the second post this is other post and here we have the hello world so right now we have done the settings for this title post let's do the setting for this read more button right now this is pointing with the hash symbol if we go to about page and here is the link inside the same page we are using the same loop for index.php so if we click on this button it is not going to work that it's because inside this read more button here we have a hash symbol now if I make comment for this time so pressing control forward slash to make these comments to actually comment the things what we have writing it here called posted on this is other informations now for this read more what I will do I am to use another WordPress function and this is something the underscore permalink it is going to return all about our post URL so if we save this change go here reload this page now if we inspect over this read more inspect and inside this read more go inside this console and as we can see that this is the URL of this about us page now remove all these things go to frontend page and this page contains all the posts what we have inside this WordPress setup this is other post section go inside this read more inspect on that and here we have that this is the URL for this post so if we click on this read more now it is going to open that single post only and this is our permalink means the URL of this respective post again go back here click on this hello world this is the hello world post URL so basically guys we understood all about to use post loop to render the dynamic content 
In next videos, we will see that how can we render the featured image if suppose if we have for our WordPress post. If we back to admin panel, from admin panel actually we can set a featured image for this post by clicking here it's like if we click on this outer section like of this post scroll down and writing it here so we can see our featured image section from here so right now it is not available if we go to its toolbar items here we, we can click on options so inside this we will have actually we don't have the featured image section so we will check about these options in upcoming videos this is not a major issue right now so all the contents what we have inside these we have successfully rendered inside our front end pages now in the next video guys we will understand about that is right now we have home about services and contact page but this time these pages using the same layout called index.php which is not a perfect layout so we will see that how can we make the specific layout for all these pages or we will understand about template hierarchical structure so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.